in the event that Wayne Pivak is relieved of his duties, who comes in? Gats? And should he? Like, because, you know, that sort of old saying about never going back and particularly how it applies to a coaching situation. I feel like he's what Warren Gatlin will be walking back into a far worse situation in Welsh rugby than even the one he left, the one that uh, he papered over the cracks of. I think it'd be, rumour is it will be him. Um, um, and certainly he's been in Wales for the last couple of weeks you know going around to different clubs doing you know tribute nights and, th- and things like that so um, the problem with he'll he have now is that the generation that he got the best out of are older or are, are finished plus you won't have Robin McBride Rob Howley and Sean Edwards for this 12 month block he may be able to get Howley back um, and obviously and uh, putting the band back together like that's the problem that they were very comfortable in each other's uh, skin as a coaching group there was a lot of cohesion there there was a real understanding of of what each character brought to it so Warren would have to come back in and, and you know even for the Chiefs he went back to the Chiefs and inherited a coaching group that he didn't know a huge amount about and I think it was difficult because he has a very clear philosophy in how he wants to play so um I would say he's better off not taking it. In my own opinion, I think he's, you know, a big job comes up in France. I heard him speak recently. He said, you know, maybe France are back to a premiership club or, you know, uh, he's definitely open, I think, to come back to this side of the world. I think he realises the All Backs isn't going to happen for him. Um, And, you know, I think think Wales may go for him. He may take it because, you know, he'll see the upside. He'll see bringing Wales back to a World Cup and Wales and the Six Nations and, Getting them going again, and certainly he has the um, the credibility to do that. I just think, with the current state of the regional game, the fact that that golden generation are probably past it in a lot of cases, um, and the fact that he won't have his old coaching team together. And Gats is a very yeah, he's not like he's not a Joe Schmidt type of coach where he he's all over every detail. Um, you know, he's he's more more around feel and you know subtle motivational tactics and giving the group confidence um, and, I, and I do think having a coaching staff that he knows really well is, is key to him as well so yeah I, I, I think it could be it will be, it could very well be him um, I'm not sure Steve Tandy's been linked to it heavily but obviously he's under contract with the SRU so he's probably someone maybe more likely after after the, after the World Cup Um yeah, it's a it's a messy one. It's like look at like if Eddie Jones, Scott Robertson is the only is the only one available as such. You would imagine even Raj, like I'm sure unless Raj has got a clause um, in his contract, um, it's going to cost a lot of money to get him out now. You know, um, so yeah, Gatland obviously is is the most obvious one. I think. I don't mm. know what you think, Murray. Like he risks ruining his legacy yeah. Yeah. because his legacy is undoubted. What he achieved is incredible particularly given that the regions weren't strong for a lot of that. Yeah. And it, it was just a phenomenal period of sustained success, really. I just wonder how much does a coach, I was going to ask you, how much does a coach think about that kind of stuff? Like, my legacy, I'm a legend there. He comes back, the squad just, like, let's speak really honestly here. The squad is not very good at the moment. I, I looked through the squad and I go, yes, Pivac hasn't done a good job. I wouldn't argue that. But he's not working with, similar cattle to, to what Gatlin was yeah. as you say the the older crop players is kind of gone stale the younger guys coming through some of them have the ability to beat up internationals but they're not um, so I'm wondering will he would you think he'll consider his legacy I, I think he probably he's been doing it so long uh, he would back himself mm. innately um, but and, I, and like you know it's one thing uh, it's a lot easier to be on TV and talk about it and critique or whatever than actually have to do it and have that pressure so um I don't know. In my in my good feeling is that he'll see that as a as an opportunity. To, like he he he'd back himself against the best in the world, you know. So for him not to be at the World Cup, having been at so many um, and had recent decent success at them, I think it was the two semifinals. Um, uh, like I, I I think in him his the competitor in him would prefer to be there with a team, mm. even if he doesn't have all the tools, than be there on a the sideline, you know, with a mic. Uh, but. But it could do him serious damage. And also, to be honest, when Gats was there, he wasn't widely appreciated by a lot of the Welsh public. You know what I mean? Um, so it's not even a case that... Um, it'd be like like if Ireland if Ireland went through a really bad patch, uh, and obviously this is hypothetical, but you know, 
if Joe Schmidt was called back in to save us and went 12 out from World Cup, you know, it's it's the way it ended, and it didn't end badly for Gats, but I don't know, there was a lot of criticism around how he played. Um, they were very poor in November consistently um, compared to how they did in Six Nations. So it's a tough audience to please the Welsh. Yeah. If he comes back in on a year yeah. and it doesn't go well, he can say, listen, I try my best. Yeah. And he has enough credit in the bank, like undoubtedly one of the best coaches ever, yeah. given what he's achieved even doing the lines. For other guys that you mentioned, like Raj... Avoid at all costs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I saw the Ra- La Rochelle fans were chanting his name after the match there on, on Saturday. They hammered cast. So he's clearly loved where he is. And Robertson the same. Like, you're still... They're on their upward trajectory. They have to prove themselves at an international level and that's all ahead. But you've got to, you've got to have the good timing, don't you? Pick the right opportunity. Yeah, and for Robertson, like, if he doesn't get England now, he'll get it in 12 months' time. Yeah. Or he'll get another brilliant job somewhere. Um, I wouldn't be taking Wales... If I was, if I was them, uh, you know, at the moment, uh, Robertson particularly, I think he might get he might get England in the next two weeks. Who knows? You know? <laughs> and that's part of the thing for the WRU now. They're doing the review, and it does sound like he's on the way out. But they might look around and think, who else can we yeah, get here? Exactly. 